My name is Aon Reardon and I've been a teacher in Sherry Street for the last nine years. And that's part of the reason I got involved in politics. Because despite the disadvantage, <laughs> despite the problems we have in this area, I've come across so many tales of hope and tales of people who refuse to give in to the circumstances around them. And I know politics can be a force for change and a force for good and a force for hope. And I want to be part of that force for hope. I believe we have to put people and communities at the centre of everything that we do. And we have to put pride at the centre of everything that we do. People need to feel proud of where they're from. They need to believe in the place that they're from. Young people, old people, and we have to be the people in politics that provide the public services that empower people in their local area to feel proud of their local area. And that's absolutely essential. Well, as I walk through the areas of Dublin North Central, like Marino and Clontarf and Dunning Kearney, I find, I find problems, but I also find people willing to provide the solution. And I think local councillors are people who have to drive those solutions and to make connections between different agencies to find solutions to make those communities stronger. So if there's an issue of antisocial behaviour, let's make the communication better between Dublin City Council, local residents and the Gardaí. If there's a problem with a local park, let's make those connections again. It's up to politicians and councillors to drive that forward, to provide that leadership and to get people communicating. Education is most important to me. I feel absolutely passionately about education. And that's why I found the Right to Read campaign, which is trying to break down educational disadvantage and tackle illiteracy. And what I've managed to achieve is that every library in Dublin is now open six days a week for the first time. We have nine homework clubs in nine different libraries across Dublin City to help children do their homework after, after school. And we've also increased the apartment sizes by 25% so that families can learn in the home. These are very important changes that I feel will help uh, families learn in the home and help children to maximise their educational potential. Also, there's a whole area of planning that people are terrified about. They don't believe in the planning system, they don't understand it. And what we have actually introduced is a planning information service so that any local resident or any uh, residence group can contact our councillor, can get a planning information meeting to talk through any planning application that they may be fearful about. Because people sometimes can't read site notices. Sometimes people are afraid of the planning systems. So it's about making Dublin City Council closer to people, that they trust in the systems that are there, that the systems reflect them and their communities, and they are happy that you know, they have a stake in our city. And also, that communities are again are at the centre of everything that we do, and people feel that they are proud of not only their only local area, but they're proud of Dublin City, because we have to provide a city that is, that is welcoming for all our people, and people not just from Dublin, but from overseas as well. That if you're from Cork, if you're from Donegal, or if you're from Senegal, you can be proud to be a dub and have a stake in Dublin City. We have to build a city that is community based, not developer led. And far too many developments in the past have been developer led and that will not happen in the future and we will not let that happen. I understand more than anybody that there are problems in our society. There's housing problems, there's crime problems, there's homelessness problems. And I also understand that there's people going through things that they never thought they'd have to go through before. Unemployment, dole queues, mortgage repayments that they can't pay. These things are worrying people and people have lost faith in politics and it's up to us as councillors and as politicians to provide positive leadership in the community and to make sure that people have something to hope for and something to cling to and we're determined to do that locally and nationally. I understand fully that people are frustrated with politics and frustrated with politicians but on June 5th five councillors will be elected for your area whether you vote or not. So it's important that you are part of that process, that you vote for somebody that you think is going to do the best for your area, that reflects your values and will work hard for your community. And I believe I am that person and I'm asking you to support me on June 5th.